one hand for saving him without bloodshed. Now that Prince Edamon has returned to Marine... Huntress, the war... what business do you have with us? I was asked to look into the murder of a Karja hunter. What happened? It's plain as day. A drunk Banuk thug picked a fight with Ruas, struck him down from behind and stole his headdress. The accused man says that he didn't do it. You're not going to get anything useful out of the Banuk, whether they talk to you or don't. They gather up like cloaks in a chill wind every time a hunter dies out here. Won't even hand Ruas's killer over for a proper trial. A proper trial? To fill his mouth with salt, and hold him up for the sun to consider over days. If it is Clement, it may only take his sight, or his wits. So other Karja hunters have died in these lands before? Three, maybe four in the last few seasons. That's no surprise. This place punishes even the prepared, and many young nobles don't prepare. But usually, the snow covers everything, and the bodies are never found. No thanks to the Banuk. Do you think they're involved? No. If it's not about their tribe, they don't want to get involved. In these outlands, even the sun cannot thaw all it touches. Where did you find Ruas's body? There's no hunt, girl. Nothing to pick up. Humor me. I'm a good tracker. Down the rise to the west, there's a clearing. But a grazer herd couldn't have trampled it better. And if that barbarian gives up Ruas's headdress before they cast him out, let me know. It's valuable. An Osman tries to kill the Sun King, and Anora saves his life. Good view of the Karja camp and the clearing.
that one. <laughs> well, this is ominous. What dead end? Can't be. is exiled for it. A life for a card to life. Someone's here! Not Banook. Then she won't be missed. We're under attack. I'm looking right at her. Revenge for the war? Who gets to declare that one tribe no longer hates another? I'll tell you. Not the ones who fought. Not the ones whose songs are silenced. But my kin. For what you did, another Banuk has been sentenced to certain death. What about his song? That's why you followed us. For that punch-drunk idiot innocent. Fate is sharp today. They've already let him out to face his exile. Let's see who the cold claims first. I need to go after Inatut. But I should find some more evidence first. So it was a carja soldiers. Not that it's any excuse. Did they keep any clothes from their victims? This carja gear is not warm, but if Inatut's naked on a snowfield, we'll take. Okay, time to get moving.
They're scanning for me. Some boy game. Might as well trade it. and solid. Mixed feelings about that. <laughs> it 
In a tit. In a tit. Have you found shelter? I hope you found shelter. Behind the rock. Really you or has the bone chill got through my skull? I found the real killers. No one else has to die because of this. Take these. A dead Karsha's clothes. Haven't I been beaten down enough? But I won't argue. I swear. I thought I'd saw my ancestors. They said it would surprise you ended up here. <laughs> Better hurry. <laughs> Machines. Your trial's over. It was other Banuk who killed that man. Killed him because he was Karja. You know why I took the first swing at him? He challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on. Let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. Is that something I'm used to? Who knows what could happen? I'll see you in town then. You'd better make it, all right? I give my pledge.
survive a nuke law, if Inatut survives, he's forgiven. But I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. Fresh as it comes. Never be Banuk. Inatut told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. Fate has fallen like snow. And should Inatut return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Warwick, my Nora friend. You look ridiculous. 
If you would return to my Wirak, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their carge of victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts. I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk. It might not be what the Chieftain and the Shaman tell you. Whether you stay with this Warak or find another... I'm better with decisions, like, do I start with the left, or the right? There's more to you than your fists, Inatut. That's why I believed you. It was my chieftain who taught me honesty. Said, a Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time, then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, will you accept this gift of a little scrawny weighed against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inita. 